today I'm doing the sum or primes on free code camp. Um, so for this one, a prime number is a whole number greater than one with exactly two divisors, so one and itself. Um, for example, two is a prime number because it is only divisible by one and two. In contrast, four is not a prime number since it's divisible by one, two and four. Um, we just want to rewrite sum prime so that it returns the sum of all prime numbers that are less than or equal to num. So we can see here we've got our function and I'm just going to console.log wrap around sum all primes. <clears throat> we can see we're returning num which we're passing in as 10. So I'm actually going to get rid of the, the return statement here and I'm going to basically do a use this with a while loop and then we're going to have a function that a separate function that will check if the number is a prime number um, as well. So we'll start by creating a count variable which will be zero and sum as well which will start off at zero and we want to return the sum here. So because we're returning the sum of all that prime numbers when we go through the while loop if the number is a prime number we'll add it to sum um, and that's how we'll, we'll we'll go through basically so we'll do whilst while here while loop whilst num is greater than the count we'll do sum plus equal count and then count plus plus like so um, and basically this plus plus if you're not aware I think I've shown it before is basically just doing count and then reassigning it to count plus count uh, sorry plus one um, count would equal count plus one so it's just adding one to the count um, you can do the same with minus minus and that would take one away um, but if I do plus plus we can see here we're getting 45 because essentially it's adding all of the numbers at the moment um, so we want to do an if check before we basically add count to sum so we'll do let's just do count if that's equal to zero um, and then we bring this up here um, and the reason I'm doing that like this is because actually in this point is where we want to have a function to check if count is a prime number um, so let me just do that so oops is prime we'll call it is prime and we add in the count and then we just need to create is prime um, as a new function. So we are taking in the num and well, we're taking in count really. Um, so we'll call it the same. So this is the, the count as it's as we're going through the while loop, um, starting at zero, ending up at, uh, what was it, 10 here, right? So um, essentially what we want to do is actually then check every number between um, sort of well the count and two um, because essentially we want to check all of those numbers and if they are divisible by any like if sorry if count is divisible by any one of the numbers between two and it's sort of itself um, then it is a prime number um, sorry it isn't a prime number and that's when we'll return false and come out of this function and return false here um, otherwise if it doesn't pass any of those checks then it is true and it is a prime. So hopefully, I'm not sure that makes sense, but I will code it out here. So we start at two because obviously one and two, um, sort of zero and a one, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see it won't have an effect um, obviously on that. But if we then do i is greater than count i plus plus, or sorry, less than count whilst i is, oh no, that is right, less than count. And then we open this up and what do we want to do? We want to check if um, count and modulo i is equal to zero. And if it is, that basically means it is divisible by the number um, here and obviously will return false. Um, else we just return true, true, like so. Um, and I think actually, sorry, that needs to calm down here. And we can see we're getting 18 at the moment, um, which I think we're looking for 17 here. So I'm just trying to see where we might be going wrong. Uh, but let's just hit enter and just check. So 18, 18. Um, so we are starting at zero, which is good for both of these. Let i equal two, whilst i is less than or Ah, uh, sorry, it's actually the while loop. Um, we're not going all the way along. Um, and 
I think we might even want to do that as well. No. Uh, let's see. What I is less than no. Less than count. Or well, if count modulo two. Uh, and I think we actually want to do count is greater than or equal um, to two, then return true. So sorry, it was uh, it was the case where obviously it's um, it's count and then I is would have been one. Um, but as you can see here, the first two we just want to return count or return a boolean. So if count is less than or equal to two, we return true. Um, because we know count if it's one or two, um, obviously R prime numbers, right? So one and two R. So yeah, we don't need to do the checks and we can start here at two onwards. Um, and we just go through and we check um, all of the numbers between two and count, whatever that may be, let's say it's 10. And we're just checking if any of those numbers, um, when sort of they're moduloed, by each other if that equals zero then we return false and it's not a prime number um, because it should only be divisible by one and itself um, so yeah hopefully that makes sense of the the is prime it's quite a i guess it's a little bit tricky to understand but um, that's what we're we're doing here and that's why we're using it we're passing in the count we're just checking if it's a prime number and if it is we sum or add that to the sum and then return the sum and also as always with while loops just remember to increment your counter or what you're checking against here otherwise you'll end up with an infinite loop um sort of crash whatever you <laughs> wherever you are um, um sort of your ide so yeah if i hit enter we can see that pass all the tests which is great and yeah that's my solution to sum all primes um let me know if you still have questions on this is prime function or even you, you sort of have a, a better solution. I'd like to see it in the comments below. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.